And that is a poem by Ernest Holmes called The Call. I call it the lost poem of Ernest Holmes because it is only printed in the 1926 edition of our text, and it is sandwiched between uh, the glossary and the index. Kind of a strange place for a poem, I think. And I don't know why it got put in that particular place, but I do know that when they re-edited and reformatted our textbook in 1938, it didn't reappear. I have an imagination that somehow in the shuffling of the pages uh, in, in the room between Ernest Holmes and his secretary, it just got lost. But it is there in the 1926 edition, and we can see it. And it's a beautiful poem called the call, and I want to dedicate it to you. I want to dedicate it to every volunteer, to every practitioner, to every student, to every child, to every elder, to every member of the Temple of Light, the 40 years past and the 40 years to come. This is your call. The Call by Ernest Holmes. This I saw, or else some greater presence made it known to me. The universe is filled with life, the earth, the sky, the sea, teemed with intelligence, with majesty and might, deep within me some inner subtle sight, beholds and sees, comprehends and knows the all, no fears nor falters, but answers the divine call. To be as one beyond the bounds of time and space, to overcome the bondage of the human race, and to leap with trust, undaunted and free, into the deeps of that infinite sea, whose waters, calm, are ready to receive those who in simple faith believe. My beloveds, You have been called for this moment to celebrate, to honor, to uplift, and to prepare for what is to come. God bless you. God bless Centers for Spiritual Living. God bless the wonderful leadership of Reverend John Scott. We love you. We honor you. We thank God for you. Have a wonderful and magnificent 40th anniversary, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace and blessings.